Hi, and welcome to the Learning Zone. I'm Mr. B. After watching this lesson, you'll be able to calculate the delta H value for any chemical reaction. The delta H of a chemical reaction is also called the heat of reaction, where reactions may absorb energy, which means that the delta H will be positive, or they may release energy, which means that the value of delta H will be negative. Consider the following example where we're asked to calculate the delta H of a reaction where ethylene reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water. The stoichiometry of the process is written as follows, where two moles of ethylene reacts with five moles of oxygen gas to produce four moles of carbon dioxide gas and two moles of water vapor. To determine the heat of reaction for the combustion of ethylene, we may refer to a heat of formation table, where, according to the heat of formation table, the formation of ethylene is an endothermic process, where the heat of formation is listed at a positive 226.7 kilojoules per mole. The heat of formation of oxygen is 0.0, .0 kilojoules per mole. The heat of formation of any element will always be 0.0. .0. The heat of formation of carbon dioxide gas is an exothermic process, negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. And the heat of formation of water vapor is listed at a negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Now that we have the appropriate heats of formation, the information may now be inserted into the calculation, where it is easier to calculate the heat of formation for each side of the chemical equation. This is what I mean. Since the coefficient for ethylene is 2, we multiply the heat of formation of ethylene by 2, 2 times 226.7 kilojoules per mole. In actuality, it is two moles times that value, which means that the moles will cancel out. And of course, the enthalpy of the oxygen gas will simply be zero. Five times 0, 0.0 kilojoules per mole is zero. The enthalpy for the carbon dioxide will be four moles times negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Once again, the moles cancel. And for the water vapor, two moles times negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Now we add the enthalpies on each side of the arrow. On the left, the enthalpy will be 453.4 kilojoules. Remember, the moles canceled out. On the product side, the sum will be negative 2057.6 kilojoules. Once again, the moles cancel on the product side as well. Now we simply use the equation for determining the standard heat of reaction, where the standard heat of reaction is equal to the sum of the heats of formation of the products minus the sum of the heats of formation of the reactants, where the N and the M represents the coefficients corresponding to the balanced equation. The standard heat of reaction for the combustion of ethylene is equal to a negative 2057.6 kilojoules minus 453.4 kilojoules. And after subtracting 453.4 kilojoules, which represents the sum of the heats of formation of the reactants, from negative 2057.6 kilojoules, which represents the sum of the heats of formation of the products, the answer will be negative 2511 kilojoules, or 2511 kilojoules.
This concludes my explanation of how to determine the heat of a chemical reaction, delta H, by using a heat source formation table. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.